The Passion of Saint Sebastian, a painting by Tanzio di Averallo. Tanzio di Averallo, a distinguished Italian painter of the Baroque period, created this stunning painting of Saint Sebastian around 1620-1630. Saint Sebastian was one of the early Christian martyrs, who were sentenced to death by arrows by Emperor Diocletian for his faith. He survived the first execution, but was later killed by the Emperor's soldiers. He is the patron saint of soldiers, athletes, and those who suffer from plague. The painting, which is now in the collection of the National Gallery of Art in Washington, D.C., is a masterpiece of emotion and expression. The scene is bathed in a bright light from the upper left, which creates deep shadows in the black background and highlights the figures of Saint Sebastian, an angel, and a woman. The color scheme is vibrant and contrasting, with the dominant tones of blue, red, and gold. Saint Sebastian is shown from the waist up, taking up the center of the painting. He sits on a round object that may be a shield, and bends his right leg to the left. His shin is pierced by two arrows, and his chest by several more. His head is thrown back, and his eyes are glistening and rolling up to the sky. His mouth is open, as if he is uttering a prayer or a cry. He touches one of his wounds near his left shoulder with his right hand, and rests his left wrist on his knee. He is nude except for silver gray and golden rod yellow cloths that cover his lap and left leg. To the left of Saint Sebastian stands an angel in a sapphire blue toga. The angel's shoulders are square to us, and his head is tilted towards Sebastian's shoulder. He delicately draws an arrow from Sebastian's chest with his right hand, and holds up a bloody cloth to stop the bleeding with his left hand. A sliver of a golden brown wing glimmers against the black background, near the left edge of the painting. Several blood-covered arrows are scattered near the angel's feet, in the lower left corner of the painting. To the right of Saint Sebastian is a woman who may be Saint Irene, who nursed him back to health after his first execution. She stands behind Sebastian, wearing a plum purple robe with emerald green lining over a scarlet red garment. She cradles and steadies Sebastian's body with her hands, and wraps the grey cloth around his back. She looks at him with a compassionate and sorrowful expression. Tanzio di Averallo's painting of Saint Sebastian is not only a remarkable work of art, but also a spiritual document that reveals the culture and society of the Catholic Counter-Reformation, a period of religious revival and reform in the 16th and 17th centuries. The Council of Trent, which was held between 1545 and 1563, reaffirmed the importance of saints as intercessors and models for the faithful. Images of saints, especially those related to martyrdom and suffering, were popular and widespread. They represented the courage and devotion of the Christian faith, and the hope and salvation of the divine. Tanzio di Averallo, who was influenced by the great Caravaggio, captured the passion and transcendence of Saint Sebastian with his skill and style. He used light and color to create a vivid and dynamic painting that conveys the essence of his personality and ordeal. He also used the extreme compression of the composition to create a sense of drama and tension. He crowded the large, solid forms by the frame, making them seem to twist and strain to fit its confines. He also used the vivid illusionism and sharp contrasts of light and dark to create a pulsating effect. He added his own touch by using discordant colors, such as the blue toga and the purple robe, which are uniquely his own. He combined these elements with his own originality and creativity, and created a distinctive style that made him one of the most influential and prolific painters of his time. His paintings, in particular, are renowned for their emotion, expression, and richness. The painting of Saint Sebastian is one of the many masterpieces that Tanzio di Averallo created during his career, and one of the finest examples of his painting. It is a testament to his artistic skill, and to the passion of Saint Sebastian and his era.